Hello guys. You remember this experiment we started some months ago, about six months ago, where we talked about growing yams in sacks on concrete. This part of my this part of my farm. You can see it has concrete. Alright, so we decided to plant yams in sacks. These ones, they were planted, just nine of them here, planted directly on concrete without opening the bottom. While these other ones, they were planted on the platform, the bottoms were open in case there is anyone that might want to extend down. Well, the whole idea was to see, can we actually plant in concrete? If we discover that our yams here, they do very well, then we have answered the question of planting in concrete, basically. All right, that's what we want to do. Today is the day to harvest and we'll just go ahead to harvest. This is the dry season already. So this sack, they were very, very dry. So what I decided to do was to wet before I started uh, this whole process. So there's no need to waste time. Let's just harvest and see. Will anything come out? Um, personally, I wasn't so impressed with the, the vines because they were so few and all that. So I didn't do so much here. I just decided to leave the experiment to run its course to see if it will even bring out anything. So whatever we see, we will take. But if it comes out good, fine. So we'll be able to. So this is the first sack we are opening. And that is in the category of the one that we are planted directly without having to open the bottom. Let's see. If we won't get any tuba. <laughs> it's very it's tiny. Now the reason why I did not really bother to do so much, I just want to see how it will go because I've noticed something that some persons they do once they just plant yams, they just leave them. No irrigation, nothing, nothing. So that is why I decided to just leave it. Let's see whether, even if we don't do anything, really, will the yams come out well? That's sack one. This is uh, sack two. Yeah. This is what I got. Let's go to sack three. This is sack three. <laughs> is what came out. Okay, we are going. Sack four. <laughs> what I'm getting here, I just practically see the answer. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one is a disaster. Nematode has eaten this one up. Okay, so 
one seems to be a little bit on the big side. So we are seeing it live and direct, <laughs> no alteration, we are just showing you the way it is. So, uh, this one I remember, okay, rodent dealt with this one and I don't know if we will have so this one also here. So this is what we got all from the the ones that we did not even open the bottom. Unfortunately, these two bars they were all affected by nematodes. So what do you think? Could it be the seed? That we planted i want to know what you think in the comment section so let's do and go to the other ones from we only planted nine sacks you know nine sack is the unit for one meter by one meter so let's go to the other one okay so these ones the their bottoms were open so i don't know let's see if there's any difference their bottoms were open and there was an elevated platform that we laid them on so for those who have not watched the, the video from the beginning as in when we started the experiment please do well to look at that video now one thing about yami sack there are a lot of factors that contribute to success starting from it's not just whether your sack is on concrete or open or closed or whatever but it starts from the type of seed you planted how you took care of the seeds the variety of the yam itself you understand so these are just experimental setup that to a very large extent are just thought of and we are hoping that this our setup will generate discussions so that experts will probably design them better this one came out from one sack then there's another one here let's see Okay. Interestingly, this one went down. So, does it mean that the extra leverage we gave it worked? We don't know. Until we see. So, this had the opportunity of going down. You can see the sack bottom is opened. Let's see. Okay. This is second sack.
Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Sack number two. See. Sack number two. This is what we got. Sack number one from open bottom. So, like I will always say, just the moderator, you'll be the best judge. Let's see. Ah, I think I remember there were some bags. See, nothing grew from inside. I think this one of such sack. Yeah. There was one sack or so. Can't remember. Then there was another one that was also eaten by rodents in this category. Okay. Let me keep this small mini to buy. I like mini to buy. Okay. See, is there anything here? Okay, this one was the one that was eaten by rodents. Unfortunately. The way those guys, they disturb me here. Ah, I will plan for them. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five to go. Uh-oh. This one was big, but unfortunately, it's rot. Rot. This one was very big. Well, it got infected and it's, it's rot. That's a, a loss. <laughs> but compared to the other side, it was really big. Okay, yeah, this is another sack that I noticed that there was no germination, really. And I didn't even bother, to, those that did not germinate, I did not bother to replace them because I didn't want to alter the experiment. So, I hope you understand why. Okay, this one. That was long, but then just tiny. Didn't really do it. Okay. And left with just these two sacks. Okay. This one did not. So I just brought out CDM. Finally, let's see. This one was eaten by rodents. Okay. There was nothing that came out from there. All right. Okay. So let's arrange what we got. So guys, we started this experiment comparing open bottom. First of all, it's not just about the open bottom, it's about the concrete. Can we grow yam from concrete? As in, when we have concrete floor, can we grow yam? That's what we have uh, demonstrated basically from this experiment. And from what we can see, at least we got yams out. That's research question number one solved. It means we can actually get yam from concrete, cemented concrete. You plant your yam in sacks. The next thing will now be the yield. Which one will be better? If you just plant directly on the concrete floor, will you have big tubers? This is what we got from here. 
well the this out uh, this uh, whole experiment the outcome wasn't really really fantastic in the sense that for some other reasons there are some factors that contributed to for example now this one's the almost all these things here they all got infected with nematodes and all that could it be that if you have um just enclosed sacs or is it the, is the problem with the seed i know i have expert that will begin to analyze this i want us to go to the comment section and begin to discuss this matter what do you think i did wrong or what do you think would have done uh, right so or better to give us a better yield almost every sack here i got something from me but some other sacks although i noticed that some of them did not germinate but for those that germinated to a large extent the tubers were bigger although this one got infected and there is a form of rot but this tuber is bigger all the tubers that were big here they eventually they were bigger than the ones here is that something that we can conclude and of course we also saw the length of some like this tuber now the length was quite much and it's actually a heavy tuber so to speak this other tuber although it is not so big but of course the length is also long one thing again is this we, the seed that we used to plant we are not all from one uh, particular species so to speak i think a better experiment would have been get exact amount of seed and you know from the same species so that we can actually say okay our comparison is 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 valid but from what i can point out now i think opening bottom might be better in terms of length of yam because there's an opportunity for the uh, yam to extend deeper into the extension or the platform that you form so eventually this was gotten from concrete we've been able to answer that question so what do you think we could have done better or what do you think we can do to modify this experiment let us go to the comment section and discuss it further thank you